For thousands of years, Australian grasslands have been shaped by cycles of disturbance. Fires periodically moved through the landscape and plants and animals evolved ways to cope with or even thrive on cycles of fire and regeneration. Kangaroos and other herbivores grazed widely across the grasslands, suppressing the growth of plants and creating spaces for other species to exist. This led to the huge diversity of plant and animal life that we see in grasslands today. But in the last 200 years, Australian grasslands have suffered extensive destruction. The distribution of grassy ecosystems has contracted more than any other ecosystem in Australia. So one of the major problems we have in trying to maintain the diversity of native plants in these grasslands is excessive biomass created by invasive plants like wild oats and phalaris. Uh, plant biomass can be up to 10 times greater in invaded grasslands compared with native grasslands. Not only does this crowd out our native uh, species, but it creates a fire risk that is much higher than the risk posed by the native plants. In Canberra nature reserves, mowing is conducted along tracks to maintain access for management vehicles and for the creation of fire breaks. Unlike in many urban areas and roadsides, mowing in the nature reserve is undertaken following strict vehicle hygiene protocol and as a result the risk of introducing or spreading weeds has been drastically reduced. Despite the risk caused by mowing, Richard couldn't help but notice the presence of an amazing array of plant species in these mowed tracks. Based on this observation, Richard and his colleagues from the National Botanic Gardens in Sydney and Trinity College Dublin in Ireland set up a scientific study to test whether mowing could benefit plant biodiversity. So we surveyed uh, plants in five grassland reserves throughout the Canberra region in the mowed edges of tracks and adjacent unmowed areas. The data set resulted in 122 plant species and 60% of these were native. There's a lot of variation in the plant species in the different grasslands around Canberra and we needed this regional wide data set to determine if the effects we were seeing were due to mowing or just due to chance. Mowing had a clear effect on reducing biomass. Interestingly, we found more native and more exotic species in mowed areas, but the effects were strongest for native species. So could mowing be the solution in restoring disturbance in grasslands? It's looking positive, but the research team has a few words of caution. When it comes to disturbance, whether we're talking about fire, grazing or mowing, avoiding extreme disturbance is important in biodiversity conservation. Complete exclusion of disturbance is harmful, but too much disturbance is harmful too. You've got some invasive plants in your native grassland. We do the control work before we mow to get the seed on the ground so the mower doesn't accidentally spread the seed. And if you come across an invasive plant that's in seed, mow around it. And finally, Probably the most important considerations to have when implementing a mowing program is vehicle hygiene and complementary herbicide control pre and post mowing. With the right planning and management, mowing could be added to the disturbance management toolbox. And in this way, mowing could help to restore the natural cycles of disturbance in Australian grasslands.